we begin with a rather disturbing story coming out of Jamaica. Now, imagine competing at the Olympic Games and suffering the agony of finishing just outside the medals in fourth. It has been said that's the worst possible place to finish. But also imagine that having placed fourth, you are years later upgraded to a medal position because of the indiscretion of another athlete. That news naturally would be greeted with great joy. But what if after the upgrade, you still cannot get your medal in hand and the powers that be don't seem to be offering the assistance they should? Well, there are two Jamaican athletes faced with that situation. Beverly MacDonald finished fourth over 200 meters at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. But when the winner Marion Jones admitted to cheating, MacDonald was upgraded to bronze. We have known of this upgrade since 2007. Note that. Chelsea Hammond is another athlete. She placed fourth at the 2008 Beijing Olympics in the women's long jump. Ten years later, in 2018, it was confirmed she would be upgraded to bronze after silver medalist Russia's Tatiana Lebedieva lost her appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS. Lebedieva was disqualified in 2017 after the banned anabolic steroid Turinabol was discovered in her samples. This is what Chelsea Hammond said when she initially learned of the upgrade. I will never experience someone throwing me a flag from the stands to take a victory lap. I won't know how it feels to step up on the podium on a stage as big as the Olympics to receive a medal for an accomplishment many said I could never achieve. I don't even want to think about the money I missed out on, but despite it all, I thank the Most High for this blessing no matter how late. And now I can tell my kids their mommy is an Olympic medalist. Now in 2019, Hammond reached out to the International Olympic Committee who pointed her to her National Olympic Committee, that's the Jamaica Olympic Association. Now we have email correspondence between Hammond and the GOA from 2019, which we will be delving into. In November last year, Bev McNoddle had spoken to Television Jamaica, that's a local TV outlet, where she expressed her frustration, having reached out to the GOA and the local athletics body, the J3As. Now, the former JOA president, Mike Fennell, had also commented in that story. He remembers getting notification from the IOC and said this about the medals. If for some reason they were not delivered, then all that needs to be done now to correct that is to apply to the IOC for the medal to be replaced and distribution done to Beverly MacDonald, who deserves it. So the big question, where are the medals? Chelsea Hammond has been kind enough to join us and tell us her part of the story. Chelsea Hammond, it's a pleasure to have you on the Sports Max Zone again. First of all, how are you doing? I'm good and thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Let's go back to 2019 because that's the first time you would have reached out to the Jamaica Olympic Association inquiring about your upgraded medal um, or your medal upgraded from fourth to third. Can you tell us what you remember of that period? Um, I just assumed that Jamaica would have reached out to me to, you know, let me know what is needed to get the medal or um, what procedures need to be done, but I didn't hear anything. So I just decided to reach out and, um, you know, everyone tried to, you know, try to find a change of command to figure things out, but it just kind of led to a dead end. I didn't hear anything back. So you had initial correspondence with uh, Ryan Foster, who is, I think, General Secretary of the Jamaica Olympic Association. And in that correspondence, you were told that he would be investigating um, what had happened and how you would be able to retrieve the medal. Um, That was, I think, the end of 2019. Um, it, that with Mr. Foster, that was going into 2020. Um, so 2019, I, I didn't hear back, and then I reached out again, and Mr. Foster was trying to help and assist and figure out what's going on with the medal. Um, apparently, I was supposed to receive a certificate for getting fourth, which I didn't even know, um, and I haven't received anything. And then um, he realized I still didn't get the medal either, so he was looking into that, but... Um, just like before, that that conversation went dead. 
Yeah, so that was early 2020. Have you tried to reach out to the JOA or anyone since then? I, I haven't attempted again um, at this point. I feel as if I'm begging um, for something that was earned. Um, and I, I, I just to be honest with you, I'm just frustrated at this point. And, um, you know, no one should have to do that. I, I've seen other people um, who have been in a similar situation and their country is open up with, with arms wide open and had ceremonies and they still got some acknowledgement, um, you know, from what they lost. And for me to have to continue to send emails and emails and emails um, with, with no res little response or the conversation completely goes dead. Um, I've just gotten to the point where I, I just said, well, I, I guess I'll be the only medalist without a medal. How much does this hurt? Because I, I, I look at the quote that you had when it was initially announced that you would be getting this bronze medal when Tatiana Lebedeva uh, tested or they found traces of a banned substance in her um, samples from, from the 2008 games. And I remember how ecstatic you were, um, but also speaking about although it was delayed, that it was still great to be there. Do you feel that even after that, and you are at this stage where you should have had this medal. It's almost as if you're, you're still being denied what's yours. Um, that's exactly how I feel. Um, it's, 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 it's sad, it's exciting, it's insulting. It's a lot of different emotions that go with this because um, firstly, the first three people who uh, placed in front of me. Each and every single one of those athletes have had a drug ban since then. They either had the drug ban before we competed and just got off of one, or they've been tested positive in their career and no longer able to compete. So I already feel robbed because I'm already competing against an unfair um, comp competition. Then I don't get the medal. <laughs> Once I got upgraded, and then now to add insult to injury, I still don't even have a medal. So it's like, oh, you, you got third at the games. Yeah, but I don't have a medal. So I feel like I am almost um, like a fraud. Like it's not real. I don't even have, I don't even have a medal. So it's, it's just, it's really frustrating. And, you know, it's sad because, um, and I haven't checked recently because um, this has kind of just put a damper on the sport for my, for my personal um, take of it, but um, I don't think anybody's finished um, third place at the Olympics for Jamaica. I could be wrong, but at least from 2008, I had the highest finishing place for Jamaica. You know, it's it's something that I, I was proud of. I'm something I'm, I'm proud of to bring to Jamaica, but it's it's like it's it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're spot on. Um, based on the upgrade, still the only Jamaican woman to win an Olympic long jump medal. So a magnificent achievement. Um, when the news came of the reallocation, one of the things you said is that now you can tell your kids that you are an Olympic medalist. What do you tell them now that you don't have the medal to prove it? My kids are still young. Um, my son is old enough to understand a lot of things, but I even told him, I said, baby, I have an interview. He said, mommy, what's an interview? <laughs> <laughs> so he's not going to quite understand the volume of, of what the medal is. Um, but he's definitely getting to that stage. He sees my other trophies and he thinks it's so cool. Um, but, you know, he will understand it at, at some at some point. Um, and I'm sure it'll, it'll also have another, it'll be another conversation I have to explain to him. Well, mommy, if, if you have a medal, where is the medal? And that'll be another conversation I'm going to have to explain to him. Um, so I'm hoping one day, you know, hopefully before I, I gone and bury, um, I might have a medal to show my kids. Yeah. And, and, and just quickly, the, the first place you reached out to, to try and understand what had happened with the medal was the International Olympic Committee, was it not? Yes, so I reached out that to them directly. Um, when I initially reached out, they said that it's under review um, because she's a, doing an appeal. Yeah. And once the appeal comes, then they'll make it official. So once the appeal went through and she lost the appeal, everything was updated in the system. Um, the, the places were changed and so forth. 
So I checked with them because I, I figured maybe I was going to get the medal from them. Um, and they, they kind of neither um, deny or um, confirm, or, or confirm, but they said, please check with um, the Jamaican Olympic Committee for your medal. So that's when I went and got the information and started sending emails because they essentially said it's not in their hands. Would you be willing to make one final jump to get that Olympic medal? I, I definitely would be willing to. Um, I, I, I do know around the time of our last emails, just a few months, maybe three or four months after that, the pandemic started. So for me to even follow up again on my own, it felt selfish of me because of, you know, all the things that were going on. And then, you know, as, as time passes, you know, track is just starting to open up. The world is just starting to get back semi-normal. Um, so I feel like this is an okay time to try and look back into it. But at, at that time, I still felt like it just was inappropriate. Yeah, Chelsea Hammond, no Olympic medalist that should have to go through this. It is an unfortunate situation. It is a disturbing situation. And uh, yeah, the worst part of it is being unable to get answers to the questions that you're asking at least satisfactory answers. And uh, we will be tracking this story. We will be pushing all the way um, to see what we can do here at Sportsmax to ensure that both yourself and Beverly McDonald, who is in a similar situation, all the way back from Sydney in 2000, will get your Olympic medals. It's a pleasure speaking with you and we will be in touch for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it for having me. Thank you. Yeah, Chelsea Hammond, Lance, Mariah. Yeah, it's a... Uh situation that I believe no athlete would like to find themselves in, especially we know how how difficult it is when you have to train, when you have to work. And of course, you know, a medal is something that, yes, it's just something to see, but it, it has such great significance. It means so much. And in Chelsea's case, you know, the fact that she would have this medal to show to her child. And I feel like it's just a symbol, a representation of all the hard work. And I feel like people should get what they're due. Mm. Significant for me was the fact, um, which I was about to point out to her, that not only Maureen Maggi, the Brazilian, who holds the gold medal, um, she had been suspended for two years because of a doping infraction several years before the 2008 Olympics. But the silver medal winner, uh, Blessing Okogbari, is now banned for life for using drugs. So yeah. um, Chelsea feels that the two athletes, even now, who remain ahead of her on the, on the podium, have been um, found guilty of, of drug use and Okogbari at the moment is banned, banned for life. And I understand also the point she made about getting an, a medal retroactively. It can't, can't make up for no. the disappointment of not being able to, which we saw recently where Trinidad and Tobago is four by one relay team with um, uh, the, the entire team, they're expressing disappointment that they got their medal retroactively and weren't able to celebrate in Beijing in the way they would have if um, you know the, the the medal was won right there on the track it's a so feeling. It's, a, it's a difficult thing and not to be able to have the medal now yeah. it just shows throws a whole a new horrific story to the development yeah one thing i will say because I, i've had the opportunity to to track the story for a little while and um to hear what the different individuals are saying and at least for now, I get the impression that there is some amount of politicking going on. And, and here is my thing. This should be about the athletes. So I know, for example, the current Jamaica Olympic Association heads would not have been in office when um, Bev McDonald's medal would have been sent. They probably would have just come into office when the Chelsea Hammond situation would have started, when the upgrade would have been given. But for me, I actually think it has to be the current association who leads the way yes. in ensuring that what needs to be done for these athletes to get their medals yes. is actually done. Whether or not you were in office at the time when it started, the fact is you are in office now and whatever is needed to get the medals. It needs to be the current association that leads the charge in doing that. That's how I see it right now um, because we should be athlete centric. We should be athlete centric and we should be looking for the best interest of the athletes. And this cannot, cannot in any way, shape or form be in the best interest of the athletes who have worked so hard and have gotten their, won their medal and they have not been able to get it. That's it for this segment. Stay with us. We have a lot more to come on the Sports Max Zone.
Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.